we're back in the cornfield. You know what time it is. And yes, this is a cornfield, because look, look, Minecraft still doesn't have corn. I even, I tried to get a hashtag trending last time, and it didn't work, okay? I did add, add corn to Minecraft 2024. I also did add Minecraft to corn 2024, because I tripped over my words. But neither of them worked, we still don't have corn, so we're gonna, we're gonna improvise, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna use the sunflowers, we're gonna use the wheat, we're gonna use the hay bales, and we're gonna use... My brain's providing me with daisies, but that's not right. They're not daisies. We're going to use the dandelions. Yes, I know what I'm doing. Okay, anyway, welcome back to Corn Ranking Corn, the top 10 types of corn, because I, corn milk, am the, I'm, I, I, am, I am the expert of corn on YouTube, okay? On Minecraft YouTube, at least. I think. But yeah, I'm the expert, so here, here we go. I'm going to rank, I'm going to rank corn again. Um, also, this is unrelated to all of the other ranking corn videos. I mean, it's like a thing I do now. I guess I just rank corn. That's part of my brand now. Um, but like, this isn't, this isn't connected to any others. Also, um, I probably should have like opened with this, but happy 200 subscriber special. This was what you guys voted for. I'll stick the poll here. Yeah, I gave you I gave you options and you voted for me to do this video again. Or at least the majority of you did, and that's what we're going with. But also, I would just like to say a thank you, because I did not see this coming. I also didn't see it coming last time, so perhaps it's just that I'm uniquely unobservant. Um, but I want to say thank you, because this is fun. It's nice to have this many people. 200 people in my corner of the internet? I have to say, if that was 200 people in a different corner with me at any point, I would absolutely lose my mind, and not in a good way. But you know, corner of the internet, corners of the internet are bigger, so I'm alright having 200 people in with me. And with all that out of the way, let's get into the ranking. Number 10, we have corn nigerus. And you might be thinking, corn, that doesn't even sound like a real word. But guess what? It is. And what it means is that something has horns. So I could be like, hey, that's a, that's a corn nigerus goat right there. Um, it kind of sounds like carnivorous, which I think is one of the reasons it actually made it to the list, other than the fact that I am slowly running out of options the more times I do this, because I refuse to repeat. Um, but anyway, cornigerous means having horns, um, and it kind of sounds like carnivorous, and that's fun. Um, and also, if you're wondering, what do you mean? Cornigerous? Why not hornigerous? It's because um, corn means horn, and that's how we get unicorns. Um, so yeah, cornigerous, having horns. That's number 10. Moving right along, we have number nine, the corn flag. And I'll give you three guesses as to what it is. And spoiler alert, it's not a flag. It's a flower. It's it's like a decent flower. It, it's fine. It's not, it's got nothing on corn flowers, is my opinion, but whatever. Um, Its fancy name is Gladialis communis. Uh, I'm not probably, I'm probably not doing that right, but I'll just stick it in a little like text blurb. Yeah, text blurbs. Um, And it is native to North Africa, Western Asia, um, Southern Europe. But it also is just kind of chill growing anywhere where there isn't frost, um, which, you know, I guess, I guess this is a little delicate flower, doesn't like frost, whatever. Um, but anyway, that is ninth place right there. Um, the corn flag. Yup. Flower. Have some more pictures. Mm hmm And then number eight, we have the cornicle. Cornicles are these little tubes on an aphid's abdomen um, that excrete this list thing called the cornicle wax, which is like this liquid thing that apparently, according to Wikipedia, dries really quickly. But no one's actually quite sure why why they do that. No, no one knows why. It's just, it's a part, it's a part of them, and it excretes this cornicle wax, and it happens, and no one's quite sure why. Or at least, in my research, I have not been able to find out why. If you know why, if you are the master of aphids and all things cornicles, please comment below, because I would love to know why it happens. But as, as through my very extensive research of, like, 15 minutes, I could not find out why. Um, so, yeah, cornicle, number eight. And number seven, we have corn brash. Um, and it's not technically a word, but if I was allowed to use Cornwall, then I can use Cornbrash, because it's the same thing. It's a place. It's the Cornbrash Formation, which is a mid middle Jurassic geological formation in England, um, where it had a bunch of fossils and was very cool. And it's called Cornbrash because, like, the, the the soil over there is basically just, like, a bunch of piles of rubble and, like, kickable rock, and it's 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 very loose and um, apparently very good for growing corn. I don't know a lot about growing corn other than corn. Yay! It's being grown. Um, but apparently it's very good for growing corn, and that's why that area is called Corn brash and then the cool part about it is that also lots of lots of fossils just lots of fossils so anyway that's number seven and then number six we have corn rent which is honestly exactly what it sounds like it's rent but it's based on corn um now i'm actually this is one of those things where i think i'm understanding it correctly but if i'm not feel free to correct me but basically it's where you pay your rent in corn but it's like a set amount of corn um, like the, the difference in it is that because the price of corn fluctuates, 
the value of what you're paying changes too. So like if you're a landowner and you own a nice plot of land and you rent it out to a tenant farmer, the tenant farmer then pays you like a specific amount of corn you agreed upon. But depending on the price of corn, you might have like made money or you might have like really lost money. Um, so I find that interesting. I, 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 I hope I'm understanding it correctly. I'm not positive. But anyway, that's corn rent. I find it very silly. It's like, yes, hello, this is, I am, I am working this land and I pay you with corn. Yes, exactly. So that's number six. Number five, we have Cornelian, um, which is really just uh, an, another way of spelling Carnelian. It's an alternative spelling, but it counts. It has corn in it. It counts. Um, so anyway, it is a rock. It's a type of rock. It's a variant of Chalcedony that has been colored with iron oxide and it's generally got like a reddish tint. It's very nice. Um, its chemical formula is silicon dioxide. Um, and it's also, well, this is, this is the fun part. This is the part that makes it interesting to me is that it's actually sard. Um, which is another rock, which is not to say that it's actually sard. It's like they, they're used interchangeably because no one really knows what the line between them is. Sard is generally like harder and like darker colored than uh, Cornelian, but you know, they are that no one, no one super knows what the difference between them is. So they're used interchangeably. And I find that neat. Um, so anyway, that's number five, Cornelian. Number four, we have the Cornet fish and they are so derpy looking. Oh my gosh. Okay. So like, they they are they are they they just have they're so long they're so long i don't I, how does a fish become this long it, it is a fish it's got like the distinct fins that make it a fish but it's so long look at it it's so long what is it doing it's got such a long snout it's 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 like the swordfish's derpier cousin it's 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 the sword you know the swordfish is really emo and like it's like it's a, it's not a phase mom and 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 the cornet fish is like yes i knit i knit i do flowers i do jane austen yeah so they're, they're also called flute mouths which makes sense um because they kind of look like they ate a flute and are trying to hide it in their face um but yeah that's the cornet fish they are they are so wonderful lots of love for the cornet fish lots of love so the cornet fish is number four. And now we're getting into the top three. And to be honest, I really wanted the cornet fish in the top three. I really did. But you can clearly see it's not. It's number four. So you might be thinking, corn, what could bump the derpiest fish ever down to fourth place? And well, my guys, gals, and non-binary pals, that would be the cornet. And I know, yes, we just had the cornet fish, but they're, they're not actually related. It's number three, the cornet. And the cornet is an obsolete military rank related to the cavalry. Specifically, it's the fifth grade commission officer in the British cavalry and the lowest U U.S. cavalry rank. Um, it is obsolete, though, because we don't have cavalries anymore, because we kind of realized um, that horses, is, it's mean to have horses in battles distinctly unfriendly and that is definitely the reason we don't use them anymore that is the only reason we realized it was mean and animal cruelty and that's why we stopped but anyway you might be thinking thorn so it's just a really low-ranking military officer in the cavalry but it's more than that that's not a reason that's that's not that's not nearly good enough to be third place and you're right it's not the reason it's in third place is because they had a very special role those cornets their job was to carry the standard and you might be thinking corn what's a standard and i would be like what you don't have standards but um bum just um, anyway, no, 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 no. A standard is like a flag on a pole. So they were the guy who, in the cavalry unit, the cornet, the cornet was responsible in the cavalry unit for just carrying the fancy flag on a pole that was like, hello, we exist. Um, and actually, the interesting bit that got this to third place, the third best type of corn, is that that's the origin of capture the flag. Yeah. So anyway, the cornet, third place. And the second best type of corn, the number two slot, y'all are getting two words for the price of one. The number two slot goes to corneum, specifically stratum corneum, which is the most layer of your epidermis. Um, and those astute among you might be like, dang, corn, isn't the epidermis the outermost layer of skin? And you'd be right because it goes epidermis, dermis, hypodermis. But then the stratum corneum is actually like the outermost layer of the epidermis. It's the outermost, outermost layer. It's it's fun like that. Um, and you know what that's you know what it's made of? You know what the stratum corneum is made of? Corneocytes corneocytes it's two words for the price of one corneocytes which uh, are, are the little cells that are um, very often shed through desquamation and then they're regrown it's very nice uh they 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 they're, they're the first barrier of your skin go go on touch your hand right now you know what you're feeling corneocytes be say thank you to your corneocytes your corneocytes are great so anyway that's the number two slot Technically, it's taken up by two words, corneum, as in the stratum corneum, and corneocytes, the things that make up the stratum corneum. And now, the moment this video has been building towards, the number one type of corn, the best there is in my top ten, or at least this top ten, because let's be honest, I have a feeling I'm going to be doing a lot more of these, and I've already done two. Um, but anyway, the number one slot, the best type of corn, hands down, no questions asked, can I get a drum roll, please? 
we're gonna pretend y'all are doing a drum roll. I know, like in videos, when people are like, "Can I get a drum roll?" I I, I never do a drum roll. I'm just lazy like that. Um, but anyway, let's let's imagine I had a drum roll. I, I I'm so lazy. I'm not even gonna put in a sound effect. But anyway, I had a drum roll. So now it's time to reveal the top type of corn, the number one slot, and it's me. Duh. Um, but. Actually, you know what? It, it's you guys. Because you know how I, I really didn't expect 100 subscribers? I didn't expect 200 subscribers. Y'all are really cool to just sort of hang out and watch videos that I make. Like, that is the neatest thing ever for me. Um, so thank you, really. This is, this, is, this is really cool. This is really gosh darn cool. And I didn't see it coming. Um, and yeah. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. It, it really means a lot. And thank you for just being in my corner of the internet. Um, as we covered earlier, this is the only corner in which I would allow 200 people to exist in the same space as me, because, you know, personal space and all that. Um, but just, anyway, thank you. Um, thank you for being in my corner of the internet. It's quite nice. Um, and so, thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you in my corner of the internet sometime soon. See you next time, maybe.